All right, y'all, what are we talking about today? This is going to be um, pawn shop and or local shop finds video number two, right? Why am I doing this series? Well, it's something that uh, I've been interested in for many, many years, which is pawn shop hunting, because you never know what you're going to find at a pawn shop, right? You can find cool jewelry, you can find cool electronics, you can find musical gear of all sorts, all kinds of weird guitars, cool guitars, stupid guitars, you know, all that kind of stuff, right? So this one actually wasn't at a pawn shop, but it was at a somewhat local uh, small shop. Not not the big guys, not like a guitar center, you know, one of the smaller guys. And I'm not going to tell you who it is because that's kind of my secret shopping hole, if you will, right? But you can sometimes find good stuff there. So I actually found a guitar that I like, which will be featured in another video. And I brought a, another guitar that I actually bought at a pawn shop and I traded it to this music store for the same price that I paid for it from the pawn shop. You know, so yes, I probably could have made a few bucks by uh, selling it um, to somebody else, but nobody was really interested. So I'm like, OK, I'm going to get rid of it. So what are we looking at here? And obviously you see that logo right there. Yes, you can find Mesa Boogie stuff um, in pawn shops. You just got to go there all the time and look all the time. Like part of my weekly routine is to stop by at least three to five different pawn shops in my area because you never know what you're going to see there. You really don't. So um, basically what happened with this one is I stopped by this lo somewhat local shop and uh, they had a guitar that I wanted and I was just poking around, you know, and then I looked down kind of in the back corner and then I see a boogie and I'm like, oh, you know me, I love boogies, right? So I looked down and it, it was in a combo shell at the time and it had a weird speaker which wound up being a 10 inch Fane bass speaker. So that was weird and they made like a little adapter for it, um, but it was a one by 12 combo, right? And uh, I'm like, hey, what's going on with that? You know, and uh, the guy that was there helping me with the guitar deal, He's like, well, you know, we had that for sale and um, it uh, it doesn't work anymore. And I was like, well, what happened? He said, well, somebody took, they were trying to plug it into a cabinet instead of the speaker that was in, in the combo and they plugged it into the effects loop or something like that. So it wound up doing something, you know, so I'm like, well, Obviously, it doesn't work. I mean, you got that price on it, which the price that they were asking was eleven ninety nine. So that wasn't a terrible price. I mean, th we're talking this was only a few months ago. You can look back and see when I got this because uh, I made a video about it, you know. Um, but I knew because I already found an amp repair guy. I'm like, ah, I have an amp repair guy. So let me see what kind of deal I can make. Um, and the guy that was helping me, he was just like, well, you know, that's not really up to me. You'll have to talk to the store manager. So kind of similar to my story with the, the number one video, you know, I got to wait for the big boss, right? So I call him up a couple days later and I'm like, hey, uh, I, I see you got that boogie back there and it doesn't work. I mean, you probably aren't going to sell it for anywhere near what you're asking for it. And he's like, yeah, you know, we've been trying to call Boogie and they're backlogged a few months. And, you know, plus it'll cost us a lot to ship it there and ship it back and all that stuff. So I'm like, yeah, by the time you do all that, like there's not going to be any money in it and probably you'll lose money, you know. So he's like, you know, you're really the only person that's shown any interest in it. If you want it, you can have it for X amount of dollars, which to me was an incredibly good price because I knew um, that I could probably get it repaired and still be in it for under market value. What are we talking about? Sorry to <laughs> delay for so long, but I wanted to get the story out. Check this out. Boom! That is a Mesa Boogie Mark series. Get it a little bit closer here. I'm sure some of you probably recognize it already, but uh, this is a Mark III Blue Stripe. And when I got it, like I said, it, it was something was wrong. Um, I took it over to Shane at uh, Tube Sonic here in Sacramento. And um, he he did a really good job with it. He had it, took him only two weeks. He had a little bit less amps in his shop at that time. He's picked, picked up a bit more business since then. But um, he had it about two weeks and he got it fixed. He changed out some caps and all that stuff. He gave me back the stuff that he, that he swapped out and 
it works works perfectly sounds absolutely fantastic um, you know you can see my other videos with the blue stripe versus the C plus and blue stripe with some old school Metallica tones this thing absolutely delivers I mean you, you probably won't hear a bad thing from me about the mark series I might criticize them a little bit mark series versus mark series you know but in my opinion and it's a humble opinion but uh, I like the Mark series better than most of the amps out there. A little different, you know, it's very, very specific. You know, it has like a chop that no other amps have, right? So it does different things. Make sure to keep that in mind when you're thinking about the Mark series. But obviously some of the most legendary tones out there were from Mark series or Mark series derived amps, right? So Pawn Shop Find number two. And this is actually um, a JP2C head shell. So it, it fits in there, albeit not great. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but basically the chassis, it just sits back in probably about half an inch further than the normal head shell. You know, I got it at an okay price. And uh, otherwise it just bolts right in. You know, it still looks nice in there. The reverb tank fits in just fine. Um, and this actually came with uh, 6L6 and EL34. And I just don't like that mix with the Mark series. It it makes it spongy and it takes away that really percussive feel, at least what I've seen from the Mark III and my Mark IV, because my Mark IV came with a, a set of EL34s and I put it in there and I just didn't like it that much. But anyway, I'm kind of talking too much at this point. But yes, you can find Mesa Boogie for really good deals. Even now, like I said, this was only a couple months ago couple hundred dollars for the repair still in it for under the original asking price um and that you know if if i sell it you know i i doubt i will but you know you never know uh i've got like 16 boogies at this point but uh these things absolutely kick ass right so make sure you're checking your local pawn shops if you live out by me please don't check my pawn shops because i want to get all the good deals right all right guys thank you uh if you like my content Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.